Hi, the Zero Prince, YouTube, guys and gals, kittens and kittens, DC and HB, who didn't last, did not last, that's a shock, huh? I have several of these all over my house that I randomly wrote, this was back in 6th grade. But the strange thing was, I really lost my love for her, she changed to a different person that I really didn't care for, and... Yeah, and then and in high school, she was that person, and she came and wanted to date me at that point, which is really weird. Um, so funny. Um, you ever think of the vlogs and stuff we do as, like, internet graffiti that we live behind? I don't know. Kind of cool. I did like Preston's thing about uh, phone numbers and emails and stuff. Thing if, if So we can be, hey, you still together? And, yeah, I get it. I mean, it'd be cool. Even if you didn't leave something about so and so and so and so, it'd be neat to like put something a thought down or something, and then people wanted to contact you on it and say, "Hey, uh, blah blah blah, this is my thought on that." Or you can meet some really cool people. Preston and I once put a thing in a bottle, a message in a bottle in the beach as a joke, and sealed it with wax shut, and I threw it out in the ocean. And uh, I got an email from somebody in uh, England, or not England. Can't remember now. I'll get, I've exchanged two emails with her. Um, she found the bottle. It was really cool. But I mean, this was like, what, five or six years later, honestly. Um, so it's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so yeah, I think for now, if I ever leave on places like that, I will write something, try to write something profound and deep or cool or whatever and leave content information. Not a call for a good time kind of thing, you know, but just something to see if I can get somebody to contact me who's a neat person or whatever. And yeah, I may lead to some psychopaths, but hey. You know, there's one in every apple or in every barrel, whatever they say. No one cares. I I will put it out there. I'll do it. Um, I will say this. Moon Wolf, a.k.a. Daryl, loves forever De Prince, a.k.a. Preston. Seriously. That's going to last because that's my boy. That's that's my friend, my bud, my pal, my li hetero life mate, so to speak. We've been through things together. We've been there for each other, and it will continue to happen. Now, I did like what the one guy wrote a comment and said that his wife and he carved their names in a tree. See, and I see that as a little bit different because it's a tree. It's not just some random restaurant. People just, I think what Preston was getting at really is most people who do that kind of stuff in restaurants, like those restaurants, is your teenage girls, and they're just in these new relationships or they're young and they don't know really truly yet what. I'm gonna say they don't know what love is, but they they it's it's still early to be saying forever, you know. At that point, I think, and I agree with, uh, I think that's what he was getting at, is those people most time probably aren't together, but like the tree, that's different. And then also you guys are from a different time too, before just divorce and everything, so it became so common, but the tree thing to me, that, that's, I don't know, it's different to me, I don't know why, I'm stupid maybe, but, uh, I, I, I think it's longevity, it's the tree, it's gonna be there forever. Um, Celia, nice to see you, uh, and so much of you, <laughs> um. I love both of you guys, by the way. Just going to say that. These are Prince and Celia. Um, but, yeah. <clears throat> definitely. The tree is definitely it. And uh, Celia said her parents did it. And I, but I think Preston said they've been married. So, at least they were married. And, you know, sometimes it can work out. And you never know. You might find one of those love stories in there. You might find that rare one in a million type of couples who stay together. So, it would be interesting if people did live contact information. So, you could interview and ask. It would be a neat little book, don't you think? The ones that didn't break up and why they, the ones that didn't break up and how they made it, and the ones who did break up and why they did. I mean, some might be blah stories, but some, I bet you there's some really interesting ones. Everybody's got a story, yo. So, yeah. 